It's that zest to go, no shame on the flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that zest to The voters abandoning Donald Trump. A massive new source of public opinion research offers fresh insights into the fault lines emerging in Donald Trump's foundation of support. Previously unpublished results from the nonpartisan online polling firm SurveyMonkey show Trump losing ground over his tumultuous first year not only with the younger voters and white-collar whites who have always been skeptical of him, but also with the blue-collar whites central to his coalition. Trump retains important pillars of support. Given that he started in such a strong position with those blue-collar whites, even after that decline he still holds a formidable level of loyalty among them particularly men and those over 50 years old. What's more, he has established a modest but durable beachhead among African American and Hispanic men even while confronting overwhelming opposition from women in those demographic groups. Together, the results crystallize the bet Trump is making for his own re-election in 2020, and for his party's chances in November's election, that he can mobilize enough support among older and blue-color, as well as rural and evangelical, whites to offset the intense resistance he's provoked from groups that are all growing in the electorate millennials, minorities, and college-educated whites particularly the women among them. These findings emerge from a cumulative analysis of 605,172 interviews survey Monkey conducted with Americans in 2017 about Trump's job performance. At my request, Mark Blumenthal. Survey Monkey's head of election polling, calculated Trump's average approval rating over the last year among groups of voters segmented simultaneously by their race, gender, education level, and age. That extra level of detail, not available in conventional polls because their samples are too small, offers a more precise picture of Trump's coalition. The survey monkey results put Trump's total approval rating for 2017 at 42 percent, with 56 percent disapproving. That's slightly higher than, but within range of, other major public surveys. In the 2016 election, exit polls found that Trump's best group was whites without a four-year college degree, he carried 66 percent of them. But his approval among them in the 2017 survey monkey average slipped to 56%. In 2016, whites with at least a four-year college degree gave Trump 48% of their votes. But in the 2017 average, just 40% approved of Trump's performance, while a resounding 60% disapproved. Layering in gender and age underscores voters' retreat. Trump in 2016 narrowly won younger whites. But he now faces crushing disapproval ratings ranging from 62% to 76% among three big groups of white millennials, women with and without a college degree, and men with a degree. Even among white millennial men without a degree, his most natural supporters, Trump only scores a 49-49 split. Trump's support rapidly rises among blue-collar white men older than 35 and spikes past two-thirds for those above 50. But his position has deteriorated among white women without a college degree. Last year he carried 61% of them.
But in the new survey Monkey Average, they split evenly, with 49% approval and 49% disapproval. His approval rating among non-college educated white women never rises above 54% in any age group, even those older than 50. From February through December, Trump's approval rating fell more with middle-aged blue-collar white women than any other group. Trump's position has also eroded since 2016 among college-educated white women. In 2016, those white-collar voters preferred Hillary Clinton over Trump but gave her only 51 percent of their votes. Now, in the 2017 average, 66 percent of them disapproved of Trump and 58 percent strongly disapproved. In every age cohort, at least three-fifths of them disapproved. Trump did better among college-educated white men, usually a reliably Republican group. But after those men gave him 53 percent of their 2016 votes, an equal number said they disapproved of his performance in the yearly average. Trump's approval rating is net negative not only among college-educated white millennial men, but also those ages 35 to 49. He only pokes his head above water and just slightly with those 50 and older. College-educated whites, especially men, are the group many Republicans are most optimistic will return to the party if the economy and stock market continue to improve. But one GOP pollster, who asked not to be identified while discussing the party's prospects, was dubious that Republicans could reverse these declines while Trump is still in a position to define them. It's not like voters are saying, we are willing to overlook how and out of control he is because the economy is doing well, the pollster said. Among African Americans and Hispanics, reactions to Trump depend more on gender than age or education. In every age group, and at every level of education, about twice as many African American men as women gave Trump positive marks. In all, 23% of black men approved of Trump's performance versus 11% of black women. The outlier here isn't, black, men and it's, black, women, where you have near universal disapproval of Trump said Cornell Belcher, a Democratic pollster who studies African-American voters. Still, black men are one of the few groups for which Trump's 2017 average approval rating significantly exceeds his 2016 vote share. Among Hispanics, men were also much more likely than women to express positive views about Trump. Among Hispanic men older than 50, Trump's approval strikingly exceeded 40 percent. But at least three-fifths of Hispanic women in every age group, including both those with and without a college degree, disapproved. Trump's 2017 approval rating slightly exceeded his 2016 vote share among Hispanic men, and was slightly below it among Hispanic women. Many things could change between now and November's election much less 2020. But these detailed soundings show how the gales of resistance Trump has fueled are reshaping the electoral landscape. Whether by age, gender, race, or education, Trump is deepening almost every social and political division that existed before him with unpredictable consequences for the parties and for the country itself.